Welcome to Real Talk Medicare. My name is Bethany Nonami, and we've dedicated this channel to try and help you make sense of all things Medicare. And I know it's frustrating. I've been there before too. See, my mom adopted me when she was in her 40s. She was born in 1935. Her mother died of TB when she was a baby, and her dad remarried. But he got killed in World War II when she was only a child. So that left her with her stepmother and her step-grandmother that really didn't feel like raising someone else's child. So what would any 15-year-old girl do? Marry the cutest boy in class. So before she was 16, she ended up being a wife and becoming the custody of her 16-year-old husband. By the time she was 20, she already had three kids and no high school diploma. So as you can imagine, she went from a tough home to a tough life. And as she established herself, raised her children the best she could, she decided she wanted to do it again. So I was her do-over baby. I was grateful and lucky that she chose me and adopted me. When I was 15, I found out that she was diagnosed with the lung disease called COPD. And the doctor said, hmm, you're not gonna have long to live. By the time I graduated high school, she was on disability and was no longer able to work. Luckily, I am a super nerdy person and I went straight out of high school into work in technology. And I am so fortunate that I was able to get just as far in my career based on my experience and not being held up by the fact that I didn't have a college degree. And being in technology allowed me to make my mom's last years of her life the best years of her life. But every year, we had to go through this process of open enrollment with Medicare. And it is maddening. No matter how many degrees you have and how incredibly intelligent you are, the process makes you break down out of sheer frustration, stress, and overwhelm. And it really shouldn't be that hard. Why are there so many parts? Why can't we just have one plan? Why are some medicines accepted and others aren't? Why are some pre-existing conditions okay and others aren't? Why is this doctor accepted and that one isn't? It is maddening. So the goal of this channel is to try and help you make sense of it the best we can. Every year there are changes and every year there are new limitations and new exclusions and you have to have Medicare for the rest of your natural life. So we're here to help explain in the simplest terms possible what is most important for you to know. So I'm so thankful that you're here and please subscribe and share the channel if you find the information valuable. If you need to ask any questions, you can click in the about area or in the video descriptions and we'll direct you to someone that can help. Thank you so much.